Welcome back, everybody. We are on part two of episode 164. It's time to start talking about some hot tags of the week. Ow. Hot. Kind of burning yourself there, aren't you? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's so underwhelming. <laughs> Especially if they're all like, hot tags, hot tags. Just, ouch. Get it hot. <laughs> yeah. You're like, careful there. So let's talk about something a little bit, uh, I think, stupid. Um, but people are getting all up in arms about this, and that's the Ascension promo where they, quote, disrespected the Road Warriors. Lance Storm's in a tizzy over this. Animal just sent out a big message saying that that was disrespectful and that WWE's making all these mistakes. And, of course, it, like a typical older star brings up the whole check out the merchandise sales and we were better than these kids and stuff. doesn't matter if you were fucking better than the Ascension. I don't see the big deal about this. You can mention people that have fucking died, and they're heels. They're supposed to think that they're better than everybody else. It's a different story than if they were to say something specific and be like, you know what, we're better than the uh, Road Warriors ever were because none of us are drunken idiots who fall off the Titan Tron. Then it might be overstepping it, but... Was this really that fucking bad? Anybody want to tag in and defend Tag me! Animal? Tag me! Tony, Tony! You're tagged in. All right, awesome. All right, um, as far as all this goes, it's a load of bullshit. Landstorm is being a walking, talking vagina. It does not matter what he said. He never said anything offensive in the promo. When you look at the material of it, all they did was reference the biggest um, comparisons that they get. People go, they're either a ripoff of the Road Warriors... Or they are a ripoff of Demolition. So why not get some cheap heat from that and make fun of them? It's not like they said, Ha, I'm glad these fuckers are dead. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they pretty much referenced some old catchphrases, said they're better, and that's perfectly fine. They're heels. That's what they're meant to do. Animals probably just woke up and out, of, out of a drunken slumber and went, What? I'm relevant again? Yeah, rebel, rebel, rebel. I can see him doing that. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's happened. And people like negativity. So when a negative story comes out, they jump on this shit. If you're offended by it, go fuck yourself. Fully agreed. Who else wants to tag in on this? That's not offensive to the Road Warriors. This is offensive to the Road Warriors. Road Warriors were a bunch of overrated, muscle-headed jackass who just shouted at the camera. They couldn't cut a real promo to save their fucking lives. The Ascension will fucking rise. Welcome to the Wasteland. Well, they were good at doing that, at <laughs> the very least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but did they ever get that Road Warrior pup? <laughs> <laughs> Drew, Sean, tag in on this? Um, I agreed that it was stupid that everyone got up in arms about this, because I did not think this was a big deal at all. I'm not a big fan of the Ascension as it is, but I, I honestly thought they were... Their promo that they cut on Raw wasn't too bad, so I'll give them credit where credit's due. It was a good promo, and people complaining about it, then get, stop living in the fucking past. It's that simple. Just get over it and move on. John, any thoughts? Any thoughts? Uh, not really. I think we've said what we need to be said, and I think we said a lot worse on this show than what <laughs> the Ascension did on Raw. I'm sure if a lot of people heard the stuff that we were saying on the show, people would be really offended. No, 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 no. I feel like if we said anything on the show, on Raw, we would lose our job instantly. <laughs> I think it's. I think what we say is that bad. I know. Yeah. I think they'd like our Cody Rhodes theme. <laughs> Cody Rhodes theme constantly bring up uh, someone's dead family. <laughs> and what I said about Vicky Guerrero on the Divas tournament. Oh, that'd be so awkward if he was making the David Otunga dead family joke and he walks behind us. And it's like, <laughs> just start, like, humming his theme. No, great theme song, David. No, no like, we lose, a, like, some big match walking backstage and they do that that little cutscene with Renee running up to us. What do you have to say? And we move like, well, at least we don't have dead family like David. <laughs> then, like, we walk off and then David's just standing there holding his coffee, like... The fuck, dude? Yeah, like, F- well, this family? is called for. I just met you. <laughs> no, no, no. He'll be like, wait, I have dead family? Peyton meets the uh, divas in the locker room. He's just kind of like, oh, Paige, you're so hot and stuff. Emma walks by and he's like, what's up, Wrigley's? <laughs> Wrigley's don't like that. 
<laughs> no, be, no, no, we'll walk by Los, Los Matadores. Yeah, I yeah, just got dick <laughs> Yeah, hey, let's just talk about our mm-hmm. inside jokes. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's 2015. We gotta come up with new ones. So I'll refresh these people of what uh, we laughed at last year. Lots of new recurring jokes coming uh, in 2015, guys. Of course, a lot of Nobel prizes gonna be given out. Some Lots of things sales. for a sale at Dean Malenko's yard sale. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 it's one of the stupidest ones. I love how Peyton's like, oh, let's talk about our fucking inside jokes and makes an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> Even you guys don't know about that one yet. <laughs> no. I mean, it better be fucking funny. It's stupid. <laughs> I like how Kennedy and Anderson... <laughs> <laughs> something, something, Eliminator. Uh... <laughs> Moving on to another hot tag here. Um, the superstars that apparently had the best records in 2014, uh, as far as tag teams go for female tag teams, the Bellas, not too surprising there. The Usos for male tag teams. Paige had the best record for Divas in general, and I don't think that this is too much of a surprise. But let's see if you guys uh, can pick it out here. Who had the best record when it comes to the men in WWE? Seth Rollins. Uh, no, John Cena. Yeah, blah, 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 did. <laughs> I heard Rollins and Cena, and neither of them. No, I said start saying Rollins, but I'm like, I uh, know a lot of countouts. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's Rusev. It's Let's Rusev. Know. Oh fuck! I didn't even. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> fucking <asses>. stupid. <laughs> yeah, undefeated. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, so interesting little fact about that. Um, supposedly, uh, and I didn't do the uh, the calculations for this. Some other website did. Sorry, uh, can't remember which website it was, so can't give you credit to that. But if it uh, goes, they're to, gonna they're gonna get slam you with that copyright claim now. Yeah, uh, sure. Credit to those guys. Good job, guys, for doing math. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> apparently, Randy Wharton won most of the last couple of years, so it was his first time in a while that he didn't. Which, you know, in retrospect, I. Can't really remember him having that amazing of records, but he must have, so... Well, he was always missing a good majority of the year. Oh, that's true. Until he was inducted onto my team just so he could fucking stink up the (laughs) track. So, move on to uh, three people that have been quote-unquote fired from WWE. Uh, Let's talk about this a little bit. We talked about it a little bit on Monday Night Raw's post-show, so we're not going to talk about this for, you know, the longest time in the world, but we've had an extra little bit of time to think about it. Ziggler, Rowan, and Ryback are storyline fired from WWE. When will they return? When do you think, uh, or what do you think the implications of the Royal Rumble means when it comes to these guys? Is somebody like Ziggler going to come back and that's going to propel him to win? Or is that going to be Ryback's spot? Or are all three of them just going to not even be in it? And there's going to be legends or people like Los Matadores falling in there instead. What do you guys think? Who's tagging in? Oh, Bruce tagging in. Yeah, I'm tagging in. A part of me believes that they'll be back by the Rumble, at least one of the three, possibly Ziggler or maybe a Ryback. But a part of me also believes that they're going to keep him off TV for a while, uh, make it a part of the storyline where they have to like earn their job back in a certain way. Kind of like they could do something like what they did with Big Show back in the end of 2013, where like, oh, you can have your job back, but guess what? Fucking punch this guy. Yeah, yeah, cry, big cry. Just imagine, ah, oh, man, cry back. Oh god, those are the days. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with them. I'm not too offended that they did this because it makes sense that they would fire them because they said that they'd fire them back at Survivor Series if they want, and now that they're back in charge, it makes sense that they will be fired. So, then, in all fairness, I actually am okay with it. Surprisingly. Despite the fact that, that my favorite guy is gone. The big guy. Uh, the big guy's going home, guys. He's going home. Anybody else want to tag in? Uh, and Wango gets the hot tag. Oh, uh, God. By God. Ah, by God, ah, the guy, the crowd's going wild. So, I'm offended because I lost 200 points. And I've officially <laughs> gone into... I'm officially in Sean mode where I don't give a fuck about the Fantasy League anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking name my team a new name each week. Um, pick up people and drop them and then pick them up again. Like it's hot. So, as far as where they're going with this, I expect them to be back next week. By which time I would have had my team stripped and Sean's picked every one of them up. <laughs> Sean, are you so, going to pick them up? such a fuck you. 
I completely what? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was reading. I was reading something on the interweb. What are we talking about? Sure. You can quote him on that. I completely what? This is response. <laughs> Are you going to end up picking up these uh, fired people from Wego and uh, Drew's teams? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of hot. I don't know if you want to actually have them. They might be a little burnt. No. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Faden, round us out in your thoughts on this subject. Yeah, they'll be back really soon because, as we discussed on Monday, that's what they do. They just can't help themselves. Royal Rumble entries 1, 2, and 3. Could happen. Uh, all right, we've got two more that I had written down. Sean, I know you have something to say about this one. The WWE Network is coming to the UK and Ireland for a higher price than nine ninety nine. Really? I'm shocked. We didn't see that coming. Hey. You mean it's £9.99, though? Yeah, it's £9.99, yeah. Which is $15.25. Wow, it's really uh, heavy. What? Get the fuck out, Peyton. Yeah, that was the Tony joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck, you could pay $60 for pay per view still. So. But yeah, I fuck thought you were all you. about the other thing. What other to thing? be fair, that from the UK. Seamus killed himself with a toaster and a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Can we report on that? That's a stupid fucking joke. It's not even a joke, it's just a fake news It's, it's not even fucking funny, too. I don't get it. Why do you keep on saying that, Sean? I don't get I it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seamus hasn't no, been on television for a while. And I no, read no, no, no. Somewhere... We get the gist. We get the gist of it. You don't have to explain it. No, we then why the it. fuck did you ask him to? Yeah, you dumb shit. Make up no, your mind. No, I asked him why the fuck does he keep on saying it. I don't know. Why, it's isn't funny. Dad, why hasn't your dad got a Yeti station for you? Because such a thing doesn't fucking exist. Where does it? Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Not, not you in your house, it doesn't. <laughs> no, because I, I did research already. I already was going to ask him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd laugh if he's actually said, man, I wish my dad got me a Yeti Station 4. It doesn't even no, exist. It, no, they don't even exist yet because they don't have the third one out, guys. You're a terrible dad. You, you only got me a Yeti Station 3. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even care about me, dad. Yeti Station 3s aren't backwards compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anybody else want to have any thoughts on this whole thing? Fucking went off topic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. Anybody else does? Yeah, because I'm from America, and we've had our network since, like, February, so go us. Hey, yeah. Sean! Ha! Even with the slight amount, it's... I, I would still... It's, it's still better, yeah, it's still better than paying $60 a month for a pay-per-view. It's, so. it's a fucking overseas fee. You know, things usually cost more when they're imported. Fucking well, deal. Netflix in, doesn't. Netflix in, works out the same. Yeah, England, well, Sean, it doesn't England. work the same at all. You have a completely different Netflix than us. They run a Netflix yeah, out of UK. That's why. The in England, um, the pay per views cost fifteen pounds. Wow, it's really light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's actually what, like twenty five cents more? Or is that? Not counting no, tax. it's nine ninety nine pounds uh, for the network. So you're essentially you're paying five pound less. Wait. Oh you, wait, wait. You said yeah. Yeah, when well, you say nine ninety nine pounds, I thought you meant like one shy of a thousand pounds. <laughs> you're really beating this joke down. <laughs> oh, it's, it's been like, dead. He beat it yeah, dead a while ago. Hey, it's like laugh at me. <laughs> I need the attention, guys. I was, that wasn't even like an attempt to do the weight joke. That was like. I guess it was. It's so no, because he said nine ninety nine. Pounds, whatever the fuck he said. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't say nine dot ninety nine. He said nine ninety nine pounds. You say nine ninety nine in fucking America, and you get it. Yeah, it's America. Yeah, <laughs> it's America. <laughs> it's make a fucking difference. Dollars, you swap the pounds but... out with dollars, you dumb shit. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Last hot tag for us to talk about because we should shit on this. Why not? TNA has said <laughs> <that> they, <laughs> <That's fucking joke. laughs> they want to make Impact Wrestling more of a reality show on Destination America. Uh, it's supposed to be on tonight, right? Yeah, it's going that. on now, I guess, or something. I ain't fucking watching it. So, uh, fucking if this is uh, going to be more of a reality show, should they just like strip the sets and admit that they're going downhill? <laughs> There's no fucking way this uh, company's out in 2016. I mean, episode 85 didn't 
come to fruition, but but episode one eighty five. That's when it comes 164 to right now. I could see it happening. Or wait, no. Then they signed a deal for the whole year. I don't know. Fuck it. Know. Six months, wasn't it? Maybe it was six months. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll just cancel that too. Uh, fuck TNA though. We got to get that in there at the start of the year. Because why not? Anybody oh else want to say Oh my god, guys! You, you, you never talk about TNA, and then you guys just shit on it. <laughs> like, how how can you be a wrestling podcast? Oh my god. Here's my thing with the reason that we don't talk about TNA. TNA is no bigger than any other independent right now, at least when you're talking about what crowds they draw. Mm -hmm. They're on a network that isn't too much bigger than what Lucha Underground is on. If you want to complain about us not talking about TNA, you need to complain about us not not talking about Ring of Honor, not talking about Lucha Underground, and not talking about New Japan Wrestling, because it's all the fucking same at this point. Or you just need to get the sand out of your vaginas, because TNA sucks. Yeah, that's another... I don't know, I don't know. New Japan and TNA are in two completely le- different levels. Well, yeah, can we, can we throw this out there, too? We're not fucking talking about New Japan, either. I don't give a fuck how many people think this pay-per-view was the greatest God's gift of fucking wrestling ever. Mm. You know what's weird? I, I can only handle so much wrestling in a week. Yeah. And I usually get that from WWE. And that's not me being like, oh, fuck independence. That's just me going, I don't have time or the effort to watch all this fucking shit that everyone else does. And that's no, fair, I don't, uh, Japanese pay per views are long. They're normally like four hours a pay. Yeah, and no offense to that. I, you know, WrestleMania, I start sitting on my thumbs, and you know, it, it, it starts getting repetitive if it's not the best WrestleMania ever. So it's, just fuck see, I, I, Drew's right. I like get fucking testy after an hour of wrestling. Yeah, yeah. like fuck, NXT is the stuff. perfect show right now. Yeah. I don't know. Even if it's the greatest show ever, I don't know anybody. I, I, I care more about Jim Ross and Matt Stryker than I would about anyone wrestling in that. So I couldn't get into it because I don't know who's wrestling. So mm. essentially you have to watch for a wrestling purpose, which, you know, I could do, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, see, that's another thing that is a disconnect for me. Uh, with something like TNA, I've watched enough TNA to know that anytime somebody goes, no, you should check it out because they're good now, it's not true. So I'm not going to bother wasting more time because I have more than enough other shit to do. And I agree with what you were saying. Like, you get enough of WWE alone, and that's from not watching Main Event or SmackDown oh, yeah. or, or Superstars Star or checking out the network 24-7 or, you know, the only YouTube show that I watch that they do is Inbox. And there's even some weeks where I just skip that because, you know, the topic will be like, uh, Titus O'Neil answers all your questions, and I'm like, oh, I really don't care what he has to say about his favorite type of. Uh, I only care or something like when the New Day answer my questions. Yeah, and like with WWE alone, I can't watch all their kind of stuff. Because another thing everybody's got to remember is for people like us, I mean, we watch these shows, and then we do the Monday Night Raw post show, and then we do Smack Talk, and then. You know, some of us like will be writing up articles about stuff, whatever. That's a lot of wrestling. I write on Bleacher Report. I have the other websites that I'm a part of, the uh, the independent wrestling organization that I work with and all that. That's a lot of wrestling. So I don't have time to start figuring out who the hell everybody else is in New Japan and trying to hunt down footage of ROH. And another thing, too, I'll have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of just watching people do a bunch of technical wrestling over and over and over again it gets a little bit boring i kind of do like the fact that wwe has storylines to some of these yes so you know a lot of these independents they kind of live and die on just the wrestling itself and sure there might be some great wrestling in dragon gate or whatever but a random guy that i don't know and i don't even know if i should cheer for him or not and he's you know doing a bunch of headlocks and a bunch of takeovers and spots and whatever. The issue I'm gonna with, get bored, you know. The, the, the issue is new. Jo- oh no, I just want to make a racist oh. joke. Uh, okay, great, true. No, I was gonna make like you know, at least I know everyone's name here, and like with New, new Japan, it's like oh, it's Ching Chong Chang versus Ming Wang Hang, and it's uh, that was the racist joke I wanted to make. 
Glad we waited for that. <laughs> I'm glad Thank that you me. specified that that was the one. Like, people wouldn't be able this to tell This is the racist joke, not this one. <laughs> like, people are like, oh, wait, I've been waiting for the racist joke after this. You like, know, also, when it comes to, like, the wrestling portion of it as well, like you said, I get, I like te- technical wrestling, but sometimes it just, just drags on and on and on. I like that, sometimes, like, that fast pace, just one move after another, after another, after another, just not even telling the story, just trying to beat the shit out of each other, something like that. Is what what I'm you're really talking into. about is Ring of Honor, because at the end of the day, a lot of independents suffer from this. They don't sell, they don't tell a story, and what these guys accomplish with 20 moves in a five-minute period, a WWE guys can accomplish with half of that in a longer span of time. So what less you're is saying... More, less is more when you tell a story. For example, so what I was you're... watching a clip of Ring of Honor, and the spot was insane. They're both standing on the top rope. He picks him up in a powerbomb position, jumps backwards out of the ring and powerbombs him onto the fucking apron. Almost killing the fucking guy. Mm. And they're like, okay, that looked cool, but I don't care about it. It's like, really cool at the time, but fucking next week, I'm not going to know what's happening. <laughs> so, uh, but you mean by Ring of Honor, you mean NXT now? <laughs> That's true. That's uh, that was you kept on talking. I just wanted to make that joke. <laughs> well, I think that'll round us out for the hot tags for this week. Everybody, leave your comments uh, below for all of the thoughts that uh, we talked about and anything else that happened this week that you guys want to pick our brains about. We'll leave some comments as well. We're gonna take a break with the rest old, and we are gonna come back and start talking about the future endeavors and the one to watch for 2015. See you there. <laughs>